Hi guys, it's Melissa. I'm back. I don't know, this is the fifth time I've tried this. For some reason it keeps showing me sideways, so now I have to be up and down and you can see way, it's like way too much up here. And when I turn you to my computer, it's going to be all messed up, but whatever. We're going to get, we're going to make this work. Okay, we are going to talk about how to make, um, how to use a monogram font, or typically when you have a, th a circle monogram, it's actually called an alphabet set because it's not really possible to make um, a true font that has multiple letters or multiple characters for each letter. So you have like, you know, for an A, for a circle monogram, you need the left, the middle, and the right, depending on what your initials are or whatever. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to use these um, alphabet sets. Now I can't see myself at all because the comments, Facebook hates me today. Anyway, okay, we're gonna be friends again soon, but not today. Anyway, um, so I'm going to show you how to make these, how to take a three letter monogram set and um, I'm going to show you how to use it to make a two, three, and four letter monogram, okay? Because sometimes you have a hyphenated last name or sometimes you have one of those like double first names like um, Mary Jane or something like that. So anyway, I want to show you how to do that. Now bear with me. Okay, because when I turn you, my phone is literally just like propped up. And so you'll probably see the palm of my hand and God knows what else. Okay. All right. So just like give me a hot second here to turn you to my computer and maybe hopefully my phone won't fall on the floor. Okay. Oh boy. I'm nervous. Okay. Oh gosh. Can you see this? Okay, so we are going to be working with one of the fonts that are in the monogram bundle from our sister site, So Fonsy. This is the monogram. Can you see? This is the font we're going to be using. You can see it's a three-letter monogram alphabet font, okay? So all this stuff is included in the monogram bundle, which ends today. But this is what we're going to focus on, all right? And I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, so <laughs> I wish you guys could see this set up. Bob, take a picture so later they can see how this setup is working. Okay, so here is Silhouette Studio. These are some frames. I'll show you how this works later. And I'm also going to do my update later. Remind me tomorrow. I literally click that thing every day. Okay, so once you install, um, once you bring everything into your library, which you can do by bulk, you can bulk um, import by selecting all the files and literally just dragging and dropping them. You can't see... Oh, hi, Joe. Um, you can't see because um, Facebook is not cooperating today, but on my um, library, I have a folder called Bundle Monogram Bundle, and all my stuff is in there. Okay, so first, let's use this alphabet set to make just the traditional three circle monogram, okay? All right, so let's first, you have to start with the left side letter. So you can see, hopefully, this one's called a C left. So I'm going to just right click merge and what that does is it brings it into the same work area where I'm working now do not change the size of this yet I want you to go back to your library and find the middle letter that you need let's say we need E again this one says E middle right click merge okay so that comes in and then you're gonna go back and you're gonna find your right letter H right again right click merge okay so now you have your three letters, and this is how you're going to make your circle monogram, your three-letter circle monogram. Like, that is so easy and so great, right? Okay, so you can scoot them a little closer together if you want. You can change um, the color. You can do whatever you want. But what you should do is not size anything until everything is in Silhouette Studio. So let's say I want to change this to um, yellow and I'm going to size it down and I'll group it together just so it all stays together and you can now use it for any of your monogram frames that you have like this cute little turkey right okay so there it is okay so that's perfect it's easy for three letter monograms now what about if you only want to do a two letter circle monogram okay well you can do that as well I'm going to enlarge this and we're going to use the same letters so that you can see how this works. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to ungroup it this time. And this time, let's say um, my initials are CH. Okay, now 
So we don't need that middle letter. So the only thing that you're bringing from your library is the, le is the left circle letter and the right circle letter. Now, right now, these are not a circle. They are like a football, right? All right, so this is what I do. I go over to my draw a circle tool, which you can't see because it's on the left side and Facebook's not cooperating. And I'm gonna draw out a circle. Hold down shift to draw a perfect circle, okay? This is just going to be, um, let me put a weight on that so you can see a little bit easier. This is just going to be um, a guide for us. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my two letters, remember, left circle letter, right circle letter, with them grouped, or with them both selected, I'm going to scrunch them up. And then I'm gonna scrunch them out. And this way, I am sizing them at the same time. And now, I have created a two letter circle, a two circle monogram. Now, let's say I want this to be black, and I'm gonna put it over top, I'm gonna put it with this one for this time. Group, okay, and let's resize it again. So you're using that initial circle that I showed you, this one down here, and that is our guide, okay? All right, you guys got that? All right, so now we've got a two circle monogram, and we had a three letter, but I, but I used the same letters. Okay, so now let me show you how you're gonna do a four letter monogram. We're gonna keep that circle guide shape there, okay? Go back to your library, and this time I want you to get one left letter. Let's try A, merge. I need you to get two middle letters, okay? So this would be for like a hyphenated last name, okay? Um, so let's get a middle G, merge that in, and then go back and get the other la hyphenated last name. Again, it needs to be the middle letter. So let's do P, merge that in. Okay, so you have got one left letter, two middle letters, and now you need a right letter. And let's get, um, let me find something here. I need a right, a W, merge. W. So I'm using merge so that they all um, come into the same work area. All right, so let me zoom in so you can see. All right, now what you're going to do is this time you're going to take your right and your left letters and you're going to enlarge them, okay? Enough because they are still going to be the left and the right and the two middles are going to both be in the middle. However, if you did it like this, you would still not really have a circle. And plus these two middle letters are too small. So what you wanna do now is you wanna enlarge the middle letters so that they're a little bit, so that the thickness of them, is that the word? Thickness of them is about the same as the two left side, or the two sides, all right? So just play with them a little bit until you get them about the same um, width. All right, then, Go back, again, this takes a little bit of manipulation. Size the left and the right. You can squeeze these in a little bit if they're becoming too thick, okay? And then you're gonna use that circle that you did, that you made as your guide, and you're going to fill it with your monogram. Okay, and we can see here that it's not quite round. So we're gonna manipulate it a little bit more. Again, this is a little bit of work, guys, a little bit of work, but it's worth it, okay? If you've got a pesky four letter monogram, if your mom didn't know that you were gonna love monograms as much as she did, you do, and she gave you one that isn't easy, why would she do that, all right? So there you go. So now you've created a four, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, now you've created a four letter circle monogram. Let's change this to black as well. All right, and now I'll group that one together. I will place it inside this beautiful um, frame here. Get all this other junk out of the way so you can see. And we have now created a four letter monogram, okay? So two, three, and four letters monograms all from the same, can you see that at all? It's super small, sorry. I'm trying to keep everything in frame. So two, three, and four letter monograms 
all from one monogram alphabet set. Okay, now remember, these are alphabet sets. You are not using the text tool and typing, okay? That's how 90% of the, I made that number up. That's how 90% of the monogram, circle monogram fonts are going to be. It is, it is very difficult to create a font that has the three. Now look, here's another one, circle monogram. Here's this, this is this also a circle monogram. This one's got like a little ruffle around the edge. You can't probably see, but let me see if I can enlarge it. But this one comes into Silhouette Studio the exact same way, where it would have um, left, right, and middle for each one, okay? So this monogram bundle includes everything that I showed you today, and I'm showing you how to get a little bit more out of it by doing the two and three four mono letter monogram circle monograms as well okay and I'm not even going to attempt to turn this um, camera around because it's literally just propped up you guys have no idea so okay all right guys I hope that you learned a little something if you're interested in the monogram bundle go grab it today it's 600 different elements um it's 19.99 and it expires tonight at midnight all right guys have a great day I'll see you soon